Tommy Fury, 8 professional boxing bouts, 8 wins, 4 by knockout. The younger brother of heavyweight world champion Tyson Fury. Tommy Fury has made quite the name for himself. Calling out both YouTube's best boxers, KSI and Jake Paul. Before we get into the video, I'd like to share a product with you guys I think you guys will love. Cane Road Boxing Wraps are quite the tool for people wanting to box. They are equipped with a shock absorbing gel, semi elastic material, and velcro closer. You can use these boxing wraps for boxing, kickboxing, Muay Thai, and MMA. Unlike most regular gel wraps that are fitted for the hand, this is a hand sewn wrap that does not cause discomfort or pain on the fingers while maintaining the same protection as your more regular gel boxing wraps. I would also like to say that no, King Road is not sponsoring this video and I stand to gain no money from this shadow. It's a great product that I would recommend you check out. I linked a short link that will take you to Amazon in the description. If you decide to get the wraps, here's a tutorial on how to wrap your hand. Also a little warning, the camera angle isn't the best, it's actually my right hand I'm wrapping. For some reason I must have messed up on the recording, but here you go. The gel is sewn into the wrap itself and provides two loops in the which you would place your four fingers and leave out the thumb. This will help provide extra protection for the knuckles. Then you're going to take the wrap and under your hand and over the wrist and wrap the wrist twice. Once you wrap the second time, go under the hand again and bring it through the open gap between the thumb and index finger. Then bring the wrap back under the wrist. Then you're again going to go under the hand and bring the wrap through the gap between the pinky and your ring finger. Bring the wrap over the top of your hand, then back under, and then bring it back over center of the hand. Wrap under the hand and over the hand, bringing the wrap back to the wrist. At the end, you're probably going to have an extra wrap. If you're like me and have weak wrists, then wrap it really tight around your wrist. If you have weaker knuckles, then create a couple of X's, but for this, I decided to wrist wrap. That's it, you're ready to put on the boxing gloves and go box. Tommy Fury has said that he's still willing to fight Jake Paul if it took place in a neutral country for both fighters or in the UK because Tommy Fury isn't allowed to go to America. So, um, the, the idea is, and I think what everyone's anticipating, is successful on the night, mm -hmm. big UK event here between you and Jake Paul. Is that, in fact, what's in the projection? I'm not sure. I'm not uh, sure. <laughs> um, no, honestly, on the, on the first one. He um, said he's willing to come to the UK to fight you. Listen, if he's willing to come to the UK, I mean, I'm still trying to sort my American situation yeah. out. You know, because that's still ongoing. You know, yeah. I'm not allowed in America. You know, if I went if I went to the airport right now and tried to take a flight, uh, uh not allowed. So um, we're still trying to solve that at the minute. Um, you know, and. Let's see, you know, I'll leave that up to my promoters and managers, whatever's in the works, in the works, but my focus isn't on that. After that, he would go on to say that he still believes that the fight will happen at some point down the road. I won't let anything stand my chances of doing that. Yeah. So I'd be doing everything I can to get there, you know, but whatever's happened's happened. It's not, it's out of my hands, mm -hmm. you know, and I can't help that. Mm -hmm. But at the end of the day, everything happens for a reason. Third time lucky. So do I think you'll see me and Jake Paul in a ring? 100%, mm -hmm. definitely. 100%. He would even address KSI calling him out. Yeah, the big numbers. I mean, they both can't keep my name out of the mouth. You know, mm -hmm. KSI had a fight the other day against two people um, <laughs> and then decided to call me out afterwards. I don't know what for, because he's worse than Jake Paul. Um, so KSI is there. 
I still would like to see Jake Paul vs. Tommy Fury. And I know this might be an unpopular opinion, I actually would much rather see Jake Paul vs. Tommy Fury over Jake Paul vs. Anderson Silva. Comment down below which fight you would rather see. Tommy Fury says the reason why he wouldn't fight Taron Woodley is because he doesn't believe in fighting UFC fighters or retired UFC fighters, that he only wants to fight professional boxers. If Jake Paul wants it, not a problem. And just to clear everything up, you know, mm -hmm. people saying Tyron Woodley this and all these people, yeah, I'm not interested in anybody else. I am a legitimate fighting man. Mm -hmm. I fight professional boxers mm -hmm. and professional boxers only. I'm on a journey to a world title. The only two people that I will face is KSI and Jake Paul, because mm -hmm. they're meant to be the two best in this YouTube boxing thing. Mm -hmm. Give me them on a plate, not a problem. Like I said before in the other interview, I'll fight Either one first, give me 20 minutes and I'll fight the other one. Mm -hmm. Not a problem, because they're both useless. And I can't wait to show everybody this. They're no good. Put a professional man in front of them. Mayweather had it right. Mayweather come out and said it the other day. As long as they continue fighting rubbish guys and MMA people, they're going to look great. They're going to captivate the public like they are doing. Unbelievable. Put a professional man in front of him, see what happens. Anderson Silva is a great fighter, a champion and a legend, but Tommy Fury has a fair point. He's older and age plays a role. Jake Paul is supposed to be one of the best YouTube boxers, and to fight Anderson Silva, who is 47 years old, while Jake Paul is 25 years old, is really not a step forward in my opinion. But don't think Anderson Silva can't beat Jake. Anderson Silva still can put a man down. I personally think if Jake Paul really wanted to get that quote-unquote respect he's looking for, then he needs to fight a professional boxer. The rest of the interview pretty much is Tommy Fury just explaining why he will show the world that Jake Paul isn't that good and that he is in the works to try to become a champion level fighter. But let's move away from this topic and talk about Tommy Fury's older brother, Tyson Fury. But before we do that, if you haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe to see more content like this. Since you're already doing that, make sure to follow me on TikTok too. Okay, so Tyson Fury tweeted out this video with the caption being, Beware. Second session of Monday. Um, first session was very brutal with the boys. Boxing, because that's what we do with box. Second session is a nice bit of cardio, sweat top on, heated room with a food dude over there. Um, just trying to burn some weight off that I put on over the last month or so. Um, but yeah, going really, really well, uh, feeling fantastic and cannot wait to fight on December the 3rd. The GK is coming. Beware! I put a poll out 19 hours ago since making this video and 87% of you said you'd much rather see him fight Andy Ruiz rather than Derek Trezora. Which, from the sound of it, Tyson Fury is most likely still going to fight Derek Trezora for a trilogy fight. What's your thoughts on that fight? Make sure to comment down below. That's it for today's video, make sure to like and subscribe, make sure to click the video in the middle of the screen, that should take you to a video that will explain from Tyson Fury's point of view on why the fight with Anthony Joshua or Alexander Yuzik didn't happen. I'll see you over there, bye.